Tonga. You're listening to PM in Tonga with John Poole. Aloha ohana. Ho e ki pia mo e kaka e whonua. Kore fa mo le mo le atu i honoa. Tuk no no atu ai fansi koia ai fue ka fa. Pia mo e kau hiva koia mei te ikiu. Ko hui pe ko e no no e tau taimi. Ka ko e whai ngā maari e koula ko e ni. Before the top of the hour. Te tau ti ki kolonsi he ni. Ki a kasanita kate ni. Kasanita mahalo e tau matwe fia fini. And welcome to PMN Tonga. Thank you so much for having me. Tāritāri fia fia kohe polo kalama and if you're uh, at home on social media go to our PM Tonga Facebook because you can see the lovely uh, Kasanita Kateni. Now Kasanita is the proud owner of Heilala Creations. Now Heilala Creations was inspired through her curiosity uh, to learn how to uh, make the artificial kahoa with the Heilala flower that uh, we obviously can't get here in Aotearoa. So she's found a way to uh, recreate it and she's got uh, uh, not only the red colour but also different Different colors, but Kasanita, tell us why the Heilala flower. Tell us about your journey and this curiosity. Um, so my curiosity actually began um, when I started um, appreciating and understanding the um, importance of wearing the kahoa Heilala. Um, it didn't spark up until I got married <laughs> and I started to appreciate the importance of wearing kahoa, taovala, kafa, and all of those things, yeah. No, it's fantastic, uh, especially because hey, Lala, it's like a very regal uh, uh, flower and, of mm. course, a national flower of the kingdom. But uh, how did you start? Because you wanted to uh, reproduce this. Was that just for yourself? And and when did it become kind of like a business thing uh, when you made it into the Heilala Creations? Oh, well, I only just started off um, just as a, a craft hobby. Um, my my mum and my mum's mum, they're all crafty people. They like to um, be hands-on and things like that. Um, I just came upon it with... Um, I had a kahoa heilala myself on my wedding day and I was just looking at it one day and was wondering how they made it. So I started messaging around, started investigating, but um, unfortunately people were <laughs> a bit reluctant to share their um, their ilo or vahi vahi manau ilo with me. And that was completely understandable. That just um, enabled me to find my own way in, um, in making the kahoa heilala myself. So how do you make the, uh, I, I don't know if you can share it with us, in, in, in case it's like KFC, you, you can't share the recipe. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> obviously, we in, in, we have to uh, use some of the material that's uh, available to us uh, to recreate the beautiful heilala. And uh, it's in the red, a little small, tiny, beautiful flowers. Uh, but uh, mm. I, I, for those who are watching on uh, our Facebook, um, you've created a blue one uh, that's uh, behind you on a man. But tell me about uh, what you use and how do you recreate the heilala? Okay, so I use, I make all of my heilala flowers by hand um, out of ducat polymer clay. And I hand stitch them onto um, a stiffened felt. I actually sell um, DIY heilala kits for everyone to um, who wants to know That's how awesome. to sew heilala kahoas at the comfort of their own home. And... Um, and make heilalas from yeah from their home. <laughs> How long does but, um, it take to create a complete uh, heilala? So an adult size kahoa heilala normally takes about one to two weeks. Oh my gosh, with... weeks even! <laughs> wow, <laughs> one to two weeks because there's the whole process of baking and sewing and just perfecting it. Um, for a child size kahoa heilala, it um it takes within a week, uh, within a week to make yeah. Tell us about uh, um, Heilala Creations uh, uh, and do go on to the website Heilala Creations, uh, one word, dot com, Heilala Creations dot com. But uh, explain to us some of the Heilala in, in your um, designs and creations. For us Tongans, we like to um, mix and match our buletahas with our kahoas and stuff like that. And um, I was going to just stick to making red um, kahoa heilalas to stay true to the heilala flower. But as time progressed on, um, it became 
um, evident to me that actually experimenting with different colors were actually more beautiful and making gahoas and um, different types of designs and especially just the simple design gahoa he lala that's the most popular one. Oh yeah <laughs> just yeah just naming um different gahoas after my where i'm from and who so you have I a hold, tolo I and, hold a, and a tele <laughs> i like it i like it i can see the uh, no, no, no. <laughs> trying to be diplomatic eh? you have a toloa kaho and then also a tele one just to keep the peace yes, yes just to keep the peace <laughs> and then the yellow one is it tai lulu <laughs> Or uh, gold, <laughs> gold. Eh? Could be anything you want it to be. <laughs> oh, vinaka, vinaka. And some of the occasions, koe kautonga be that purchase uh, these uh, um, beautiful uh, um, uh, kahoa he lalas, or do you find that it's non Tongan to like what you're creating? Oh, so it's it's a mix of both, really. Um, my biggest customers are um, my Tongan people, yeah, but um, the different different races actually find the kahoas beautiful and they they're drawn to that. They just like to wear it on special occasions when I explain to them the meaning behind it and the importance of wearing a kahoa he lala on um, important events like whakame, birthdays, weddings, yeah. Um, for those who are listening and watching uh, our Polo Kalamba right now, is it just New Zealand where you're um, uh, making the Heilala creations available to, or can people also tune in and uh, purchase uh, from overseas? So I ship worldwide. Um, oh, wow. I, 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 <laughs> international gear, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I ship worldwide. Um, the furthest my kahoas have gone is um, Abu Dhabi, Dubai. And, oh, wow. You're um, just really showing off now. You're <laughs> <laughs> like we said one the other day to Milan. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Say good day, <laughs> That's fantastic. Even as far as uh, the Middle East, uh, uh, from the other side of the world, Ognaufia Maui kahoa he la la, eh? Yeah, um, normally because there are Tongans um, in those areas that purchase the kahoa he lalas, yeah. But also it lasts uh, because it's uh, not like the actual real flower where it uh, it will uh, change. But uh, um, any final message? Because um, I like the fact that uh, you're not holding on just to the knowledge ke ilo moe ngahi koe koe ni, but also you have your own DIY kits that you also offer to people as well. Final message for our kainga that are tuning in? Final message for my kind. I just want to thank each and every one of my customers that have been um, supporting me since day one. Um, to my parents, to my families, um, especially to my husband, Gataglahi. Um, but <laughs> I, um, I just want to um, to put out a message to those of especially to us Tongans, to not hold on to our ilo, ke wahe wahe pe tau ilo. Um, especially um, the quote that I live by is, papata be ka na elalanga. It may be coarse in texture, Marie. but it, it is woven. Malo a pito. Fafita, tari tari fia fia koe pia malo a pito si ka mahe polo kalama o e fia fini kasanita a katini. And uh, do check out her uh, page. You're on social media, and of course you're on uh, the old World Wide <laughs> Web as they say nowadays. Uh, and also, do TikTok for the fifine. Allah here has just reminded me. See, this is why it's good to have the young ones here to remind us, uh, old generator. Uh, so uh, um, we love your work, and uh, thank you for uh, holding on to this beautiful treasure, uh, especially for us uh, overseas. Uh, so we can still look uh, far for offer uh, in our different uh, heilala. So do check it out. But malo apita kama polo kalama o efia finia